everyone and welcome to another weekend. Um, as you can probably tell I'm in the car. I was running really late this morning so I didn't get to start this before I left but um, I'm actually on my way to Minato Zoo. Uh, we have a volunteer day, uh, not a volunteer day but a volunteers meeting one up there today so I'm just on the freeway heading out to that probably be there in about 10 minutes. Um, yeah I think I might take a little bit of a trip around the zoo uh, after the meeting because I haven't actually jumped on the buses and got around there for quite a while um, so I'll take some pictures and shoot some video while I'm doing that as well. So for those of you who've never been to Monado before um, this is what it looks like when you first get in the gate so it's just a long road lots of scrub um, it's about three kilometers of dirt road before you get to the visitor center um, <clears throat> because I'm going to the volunteers meeting um, I'll follow this around and I follow it past the visitor center to go to the one of the function centers that we have at the zoo but yeah this is what you get to see when you first come into the zoo so our meeting is finished and I'm at the visitor's center um, and the car park is slightly flooded from all of the rain that we've had over the last few days. Um, I've only seen it flooded once before, but when that was flooded, it was flooded from uh, all the way over there to uh, the next row over, at least, to so all of this is underwater and kids were splashing in it like it was a paddling pool. Yeah, yeah, saying the, big, the big males here are probably weighing close to a thousand kilos. Yeah, no, they're, um, Mostly lost all of their winter coats now. I think you'll agree, behind the, in North America, behind the grizzly bear, behind the American bald eagle, the, the uh, bison is one of those iconic American animals. Now, if, you, if you consider it back in the 1800s, India and also Pakistan. You can see the male just walking away. Very content at this point in time. You find the black buck or the male Indian antelope in here. It's not necessarily in the because they tend to run away. But they jump in. So they are all under his control, which is where they are. So it's watering here. It's not often that there's so much. It's usually mostly dry. Doesn't that make it banal? The keepers identify the giraffe with their unique patterns. Yeah, exactly. To a volunteer, they tend to all look the same. If you look on the right hand side, Kinky, is a, she's got a dislocated um, vertebrae on her neck, so that is the only draft that I know. Now, Kinky is about what, Bruno, 16? Oh, yeah, yes. about that. Their, um, their face is very gnarly. Oh. Looks like the ostrich is doing a dance. Maybe for the female or something. They certainly would, Joe. Uh, they disappear. any form if Why, you left their know. horn with no intention whatsoever would grow like a bit of pvc piping with those shape so believe it or not they do use these stumps there, there and these the tree trunks around the place to sharpen their horn as you can see some like it long and sharp and some like it more stout so it is their choice This is our lionesses. We have eight of them in total. We also have three males. We don't keep the males and females together simply because they're too closely related and we don't want any accidental inbreeding. In the wild, you'll find the females stay in their family. So it's nearly three o'clock and I'm still at the zoo. Um, I'm just kind of going to do the last round for the day and uh, go and see our cousins over at the chimp exhibit. Um, yeah, so just kind of walking down there now. And that's all the scrub. You can go have lunch and stuff just in that area. And there's another area down there. And then all the yellow-footed rock wallabies are in an enclosure down there as well. 
And then over across there is the chimp exhibit. So yeah, I've got a little bit left on my camera, so I'll hopefully do some filming of the chimps while I'm there. Getting quite a few little weeds and stuff in my driveway so rather than try and pull all of those out and ruin my knees kneeling on the gravel I'm just gonna go spray them with some weed kill that's my Sunday I'm kind of hoping that the weather lasts there's lots of clouds and stuff so we seem to get a, be getting pockets of sunshine so I'm just sort of hoping that that lasts enough that I can um, spray it and it soaks in uh, without actually washing away does anyone know what this kind of tree is? I think it's some kind of cherry blossom, but um, I don't know what kind or if you're even supposed to eat it. Uh, I did eat one. It was the only one left after summer last year. Uh, and it tasted like a cherry. It didn't make me sick. But I would still like to know what it is before I just go and, uh, you know, eat it. Sunday evening and what I've done today is just mostly washing and cleaning and all that sort of stuff and the weeds sprayed all of them and it did kind of rain hopefully it um, still kind of soaked in enough but anyway what I am showing you here is a chocolate mud cake I haven't made one of these in years and I kind of forgot just how <laughs> unhealthy they are uh, so, you know, once every few years, I suppose, is kind of fine. And yes, that is a dollop of peanut butter in there. So, see how that goes. I did kind of modify the recipe a little bit because it was just too much sugar and all that in there. So, see how it goes. And they have my mug cake. It's like the leaning tower of cake. It's pretty spongy, though. Um... I have to confess, I did mangle the recipe. It said to use plain flour, but I used self-raising flour. So I'm imagining if I hadn't used self-raising flour, it probably wouldn't have really come out over the top there. Um, I also didn't use as much sugar or as much oil. I mean, four tablespoons of sugar and four tablespoons of oil. Yeah, oh, wait, no. Three tablespoons of oil, but even so, it's still like... I don't know, the idea of having that much just kind of made me feel a bit sick. Um, yeah, so I've got my cup of tea and my cake. And I'm going to go and sit on the couch now. And that's how I'm finishing up my weekend. Um, all right, well, I hope you guys all had a great weekend as, as well. And I will see you back here for the next one. Bye.